Some big tech CEOs are headed back to the hot seat. CNET senior reporter Shara Tipkin is here to talk more about that. It's good to see you. So let's talk about who's showing up at Congress this time. Yeah, so it's kind of the regulars. Uh, we're going to have Mark Zuckerberg, Google CEO uh, Sundar Pichai, and uh, Jack Dorsey from Twitter. Uh, so for Zuckerberg, this is his fourth time on the hot seat. The other two, it's their third. Um, they've been through this before, but uh, you know, Congress really wants to talk to them again. Um, and this time, you know, it's it's disinformation is the main topic today or on Thursday. Yeah. What will be said during this hearing? What do you expect? Yeah. So Congress really wants to dive into the issues that has happened with misinformation spreading on social media. Um, this has become a really prevalent way that people are getting their news. Uh, they're seeing posts from friends or bots uh, that are promoting information that is not correct. Uh, so Congress really wants to dive into the issue and uh, question these CEOs about what they're doing to fight this. Um, they said, you know, in announcing this panel that they don't think that these companies are doing enough to regulate themselves. Uh, this is really kind of setting up possible regulation by the government of social media and other big tech companies. Uh, down the line. We know you'll be keeping track of this, so we'll definitely check back in with you after the hearings. Uh, turning now to business news, what's going on with LG's phone business? LG is possibly going to sell their business or possibly just close it entirely. Um, you know, there's reports out of Korea, which is where LG is based. We don't know exactly what's happening yet, but there are um, definitely rumors that they may no longer be selling phones. Yeah, why would they be even looking to stop selling phones? It's a really hard market. Um, if you look at the US, basically it's just Apple and Samsung who are making any money from phones. Uh, LG was really popular in the flip phone days but it kind of struggled to transition to smartphones. Uh, you know, it's it's popular in its home market, but even there it's facing competition from companies like Apple. So it's really LG taking a look at what are our priorities? Um, you know, should we be focusing more on our TV business or home appliances versus phones where we're not really making any money? Uh, so we're going to have to wait to see what they actually decide to do with business. OK, you mentioned Apple. Let's talk about Apple. Some news about its HomePod mini. What's different about it? So this is also a rumor. We have we don't know this for sure yet, but uh, Apple uh, has a sensor in the HomePod Midi, Mini that can uh, detect humidity and temperature. Uh, so this is interesting because a lot of people have these speakers and this functionality isn't turned on yet. Uh, so it could be an interesting thing coming to people who have these HomePods, um, you know, just kind of making it more than just a, a speaker uh, to, you know, talk to Siri and listen to music. I see. All right, Shara Tipkin, thank you so much. Thanks for having me.